Hey guys, so I was chatting with a colleague at work and Wikipedia came up and we <laughs> and for some reason we were being narcissistic or something <laughs> and looking at my own name in Wikipedia. Um, so my previous video, I told you a bit about Wake Virgil. I don't know how, how many of you subscribers know that I used to maintain a uh, Linux operating system um, which I've recently kind of end of life. Um, but th that's why my name, I guess, appears in this comparison of Linux distributions. But I was actually surprised to see my name upon this web compatibility test for, for mobile browsers. Yeah, my name is just here. Thank you for crediting me, whoever wrote that. Was it me? <laughs> um, so I thought this would be a good time to talk about what most of you probably don't know about me. So whew, at the start of my career, I was I went to University of Helsinki, and and that sort of kickstarted my my sort of Linux-based career. Um, but before that, actually, I went to Bath University, and in Bath University, in my year was a guy named Ian Hickson and he was hugely influential on me and a whole bunch of other people because he went on to become the editor of the What Work Group HTML spec. And it's a very interesting story in the sense that like, you know, the W3C was like, went, went full on for this XML, XHTML stuff. And Ian Hickson was the, the sort of, <laughs> the, how do you say that? I wouldn't say contrarian, but he was the light of reason in the sense that he went on a different path and, and maintained HTML and then we had HTML5 and a whole bunch of things. So on his, on his, coat, tra on his coat tail, on his coattails, I guess in some ways, I, I also uh, got involved in, in the web in browser development. That's a long story too, I, I think, oh my gosh, where did it all start? I think it kind of started when I was in Korea and then the company that bought the company was actually Access Japan and who were responsible for iMode. I mean, any of you who are probably below 30 doesn't even know anything about <laughs> this sort of old school web, um, especially the, the, the web that they had in Japan at the time. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here. Anyway, so I, I, I later uh, joined a startup in, in England doing um, uh, uh, web development in the sense that enabling the browser to have device API access, that was the new frontier. And there were many reasons for that. I think the, the mobile operators were using it as a play so that they could ha have an app store have have some sort of security model that was perhaps outclassed um, Apple and Google's so that they could um, have their own apps and make money because you know at the time they were like selling ringtones and other stuff like that wallpapers and stuff so I was in that industry for a, for a bit of time and as a consequence and I, as I would encourage you all to do the same I got sort of involved in the W3 the, the standards body at the time W3C work work group um, and the W3C, I contributed to the um, to the web compatibility test for mobile browsers, which feels like ancient history now. Uh, I think everything should be green if I click this link. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, anyway, why did I bring this whole story up? Oh. Very interestingly, in Hickson, I saw a mention on Hacker News uh, a month ago where, so Ian Hickson basically retired from being the editor of HTML spec and then he went on to work on Flutter, um, to my surprise really, because you know, the web was his baby, I thought, for the longest time, even though like, you know, let's be honest, uh, he didn't receive much credit for it. Uh, you know, everyone, I guess, may, the media thinks of when uh, Tim Berners-Lee. Um, and to be honest, W3C led the web astray with, with XHTML for the longest time. But anywho, Ian Hickson left um, HTML5 or 6 or what have you, 
and and went to Flutter and then he recently published this sort of like white paper where the TLDR is that I mean the way I understood it is that he's proposing that we use the web but the, the renderer now becomes web assembly instead of like HTML and CSS I guess or maybe the HTML bootstraps web assembly but anyway there's the link Comment below what you think of it. I, I just thought I would, um, while I'm while I'm feeling in the mood, uh, just talk about it and uh, link it below, just to just encourage conversation and just relate the story about this Wikipedia thing. Okay, please like, please share, please subscribe, please do everything for me. I control your mind as an influencer. Oh my gosh! Cheers. Have a good weekend.